online world design doesn't stop after we finish our lead magnet or creating that digital product. We have to use visual promotion to get and keep eyes on that offer. So we need to know how to design promotional graphics for social media, lead magnets, websites, and more. Hey, I'm Liz Stapleton, the host of the Blogger Breakthrough Summit, and in today's episode of the podcast, I'm sharing some knowledge dropped by graphic designer and Canva guru Kara Fid from Simplifying DIY Design during the 2021 Blogger Breakthrough Summit. So I'm going to turn it over to her. But now I want to talk about the different types of graphics that you can create to promote your product. So it's not a secret that sometimes people take a lot of exposures to something in order to feel comfortable enough to buy that thing. I think the average is like seven times they have to hear about a product or even about you before they have that desire to actually like really check it out. So kind of being everywhere all at once is a great way to get a lot of different eyes on your offer. So ways you can do that, and again, there are a lot of different layers to promotion too, and we'll talk about that and how you can adjust these things. But before we talk about that, I wanna talk about those different types of graphics that you can create as your base designs and get your offer out there. So things that you can do are creating pins, for your digital product or lead magnet or whatever offer you have. You can do square images for Facebook and Instagram. You can do social media headers. It's so important to have that call to action right in your social media header. You can change your button on Facebook, um, the Facebook page, to go right to your opt-in page if you want. If you have a sale going on, things like that, update your social media headers to reflect that offer. Graphics for your blog, you can add them into your sidebar. You can add images into your blog posts. You can promote your lead magnets, show them a little visual uh, example of what your lead magnet looks like. Add in related digital products that you might have into your blog posts. A lot of different areas on the blog that we can promote, right in, in your homepage even, if you have an offer that you wanna get a lot of eyes on. Advertisements, of course, not required, but if you are in a place that you are running ads, you can do ads for Facebook, Instagram, you can do promoted pins, and then, of course, video content. So you can create video pins, you can do stories on Facebook and Pinterest, you can and Instagram, sorry, <laughs> and IGTV, of course, that is the Instagram platform for videos. And then of course, Facebook. So there are so many different ways that we can create visual content to promote whatever our offer is. Okay, hopefully Kara has helped give you some ideas for using graphics across your website and social media platforms to promote your products and sales. If you wanna catch Kara's entire session, go to bloggerbreakthrough.com forward slash podcast to find out how you can experience the 2021 Blogger Breakthrough Summit on demand. Be sure to join me next time when we will be learning blogging hacks so that you can find more time to write because we all need more time to write, especially blog posts. I'll catch you then. Mm -hmm.